Griffins? Zebras? Ponies? Get in the truck, comrade. We're taking Baton Rouge. Hello, hello. I'm the Jim Stanner, but today we're taking a little break from the Equestria at War mod, and we're going back to the hit hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiserreich. So I've played the United States of America before, as Alf Landon, but there's still several other players of the American Civil War that I haven't played yet. And today, I'm feeling a little socialisty. So we're gonna play the Combined Syndicates of America. Okay, first things first. See this starting army? Now you don't. See all this equipment being produced? Now you don't. Okay, so just like last time, we're going to reintroduce the Garner Wagner Bill. Unlike this time, we're gonna make it fail. God, this game runs so fast now. That's insane. All right, so obviously we're gonna force the establishment to compromise with the SPA here, which is a big win for Jack Reed. Look at that, he looks shocked, he looks spooked. It's fitting, because we're in the spooky month. Man, you see this American economy? Now you don't. Oh, looks like the Russians are way ahead of me on the whole socialist civil war thing. All right, voting commences on the Garner-Wagner bill. And unlike last time, we're gonna shoot the bill down. Womp womp. Oh, I saw that real quick. Mexico joined the Third International as well. Wow, I didn't set any game rules, by the way. Just letting you guys know. I did none of this. I promise. All right, so for all of these focuses, obviously I'm going to weaken the America First Party. Oh, wow. It's hockey. Everyone's favorite sport. If you like hockey, I'm sorry. We win! Hockey's the best sport ever! I love hockey! I love watching people beat each other to a bloody pulp on ice. Oh no, Large William is dead. How tragic. Hmm. Red summer, huh? Oh, don't worry, America. It's about to get a lot more red very soon. Brazil, I'm gonna level with you. I don't care about you. All right, the only focuses left to take are the ones for the army tree and the navy tree. But I don't wanna help America by taking those, so I'm not gonna take those. Yep. The Russian Socialists have won. Good job, Russia. Hopefully I'll join you soon. Here it is, the 1936 presidential election. And I mean, obviously, we're going with my main man, Jack Reed. You would not believe how jacked his Reed is. Believe me, I've seen it. You know, Long, I don't believe your dong really is that long. Hoover? I hardly knew her. So stupid. Right. I have no idea if the AI will figure out what I'm doing here and fix the text, but uh, hopefully they don't. I've basically, I've sabotaged the federal government as much as I possibly can before starting this war. Here we are, the inaugural address. Let the people rejoice. You know, before millions of people will die. All right, it's now time to massively overstep the separation of powers by just throwing executive orders left and right. Yeah, rich people aren't too happy about that. Eh, who cares? We'll throw them all on spikes anyway. You know, it's fitting that they'd compare Reed to Vladimir Lenin, considering that the socialists are back in control in Russia. Hmm. A conservative Supreme Court hearing cases on left-wing policies and probably overturning them? That's pretty topical, if you ask me. You know what? I'm really impressed that the socialists would have two judges in complete favor of just completely nationalizing the resources of America. That's pretty awesome. Yep, things ain't looking good for Reed. Wow, the police fighting against far-right militias? That's not topical at all. And so MacArthur has made his move. Thankfully, Reed saw it coming and has escaped. And now we're on the road to civil war. The revolution has begun and we will stand by the workers. All right, the revolution has begun and it is time to form the second continental army. And hopefully we won't die horribly. All right, Mr. Smelly Butt. Lead our armies to victory. New York City is ours for now. And New England's about to fall apart. Canada's probably gonna take New England, I'll be honest, but that's fine, I can work with that. So MacArthur practically crowns himself king. We'll show him what we do to kings. All right, and to make it clear that we're not Bolsheviks, we're reorganized along industrial unionist lines. So basically just syndicalism. Because it's not communism in this world, it's syndicalism. Remember that. Oh, it looks like MacArthur's abandoning the West Coast. Okay. Well, that means more states for me, I imagine. We've captured Minnesota. Minnesota. Perfect. We're taking Iowa too. Don't worry, my beloved Colorado. You'll be in our hands soon. It's time for the March Revolution. And by it is time for the March Revolution, I mean it'll be time in two weeks when it's 
no longer March. Ooh, that's even more of New York in our hands. Good. Maybe Canada won't take New England, and then I can just have it all to myself. Prepare that just in case I can. Okay, I'm not gonna get those 21 militia units in time before the deadline hits, so that's gonna suck for the next few days. For the first few days of the revolution? Darn it, we didn't get the Dakotas. All right, fine. Oh, the Scandinavians formed the Nordic Council. That's kind of cool. I don't see that very often. Hey, okay, long one in Tennessee. That's not our problem. Missouri goes for long. That's my problem. The Balkans are at war. That's not my problem. What? We... <laughs> we took Kentucky. Sweet. <laughs> ah, MacArthur took South Carolina. Okay. We have stolen the Federal Reserve. That's perfect. All right, the deadline is here. <gasps> Perfect. New England does not join Canada, which means New England is about to be mine. Oh, mine. And the deadline looms? Pretty sure we already saw that. And the war begins. Millions shall die for the sake of revolution. All right, march as fast as you can up to Maine. Seize Washington if you can. And we have won the first battle of Philadelphia. Off we go. Yes, yeah, sorry, Kentucky. You're about to be complete fodder for the Minutemen. I'm sorry. <gasps> we took Washington immediately. That's awesome. Oh, thank God. The cavalry's come. Oh, hey, Gandhi's sending divisions to help fight. Thanks, dude. Yes. Let's kill the bourgeoisie. All right, let's see how quickly we can knock the federal government out of this war. Hmm. Yes, we shall execute capitalist politicians. Perfect. You know, I don't blame them for fleeing to Canada, but it won't save them. Okay, so I just remembered that uh, we get a really, really, really bad uh, national spirit that keeps us from being able to attack, basically. So I'm going to stop trying to attack and focus on defense. Oh, we're about to lose New York City. We cannot lose New York under any circumstances. You know, AI, if you're just going to leave holes in the front, I'm just going to go and take them. Oh, I went over the division limit. Oops. Yeah, this bot actually has a division limiter so that we don't completely lag the game with thousands of units across the world. It's pretty nice. They caught me. Darn it. Well, at least I can take the pressure off New York City now. Hmm. Earl Browder, huh? Interesting. Oh! They're naval invading. That's cool. Uh, rest in peace, Floyd. What a tragedy you were born with such a stupid name. All right, in terms of death count, I'm actually doing pretty well so far. Only 60,000 of my men are lost versus... And I've killed a combined total of over 165,000 of theirs. Pretty good. All right, that naval invasion scared the crap out of me. But I held fast and I did not lose New York. What is the AI doing? <laughs> That looked really stupid. That was really funny. Once again, AI, if you're just gonna leave your spaces open, I'm gonna go take them. I actually look pretty weak over here. I might be able to just push them. We have taken Boston. It's pretty great. And the federal government has fallen. All right, let me see how much I can get. The answer, all of it. All right, army, you are going to be completely absorbed into the other one. Oh, hey, I need to move my front lines. That's right. Okay, I'm going to start slowly upgrading my army over time from the militia units to the continental infantry. And that way, when it comes time to push, I will have the army ready for it. Oh yeah, my division limit raised, so I should probably start recruiting more militias. The Empire of Japan is preparing for war against us. I gotta be honest, I don't really believe you. All right, I'm going to hazard a push. See if anything happens. It seems like good things are happening. It's time to race along the coast. Quick. Beautiful. Kill him. Oh, that's beautiful. Our march to Florida was a huge success. We must prepare for the long war. I don't think the war is going to be that long, though, at this rate. Yeah, it looks like long is completely falling apart at this point. Huh. Well, that's not good. All right, well, I'll get the troops ready for it, at least. Well, congratulations to the Nordic Federation. I wonder if Kaiser Reich, like up to the chances of informing this, because I rarely see this happen. Yep, imminent declaration of war. With any luck, I could just like immediately shut them down. Here we go. The final struggle. All right, well, those troops in Maine aside, we're mostly holding the line here. 
Canada's gotta get tired sometime. The longest looks so weak, but I'm so scared if I push that Canada's gonna kill me. Well, no time like the present, I suppose. Yeah, long is super weak. There's really no no trouble getting him out of here. Just hopefully I can hold off long enough for Canada to not kill me. Because when Long's out of the fight, this becomes a lot easier. Ooh boy, our grip over the Dakotas has completely faltered. Minnesota's not far behind. I need I need the longest to die like yesterday. Come on. Yes! Oh, thank God. We are making progress once again. Oh, hey, that's a German division we encircled. Kill him. Sweet. It's one less German division in the world. Oh, thank God. All right, let's knock Canada out of this war. You know what? No. Let's knock out the Pacific States. <laughs> hey, you abdicated the throne. Good job. We'll still cut your head off at the end, but... All right. Push to the west coast, let's go. Yes! We've made it to San Diego. Now climb up the coast. Go, go, go. We've pushed all the way to Sacramento. It's amazing. How much life could they possibly have left? Surprising amount, actually. Okay. Guess we just keep moving up the coast. Wow. Syndicalists are winning in India, too. That's great to hear. I just... I want to win now. <laughs> I want this war to be done so I can catch my breath. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> I could take India for the fun of it, but no. Apparently they're not in the peace deal, so... I guess I am taking India. Okay! I now own Pakistan, apparently. I guess we're making Pakistan a puppet. <laughs> Ooh, looks like Japan has taken China. That's pretty scary. It is time for this giant to awaken. Peace with Canada? No. There will be no peace with Canada. They shall suffer for what they did to us. Oh, wow. The Duce of Italy has united Italy. And the Commune of France looks like it's buckling a bit. That's not good. I gotta kill Canada quick. Yep. <laughs> the king has fled Canada. And it would seem... Things are going real good for me. Ah, Canada's mine. Means all their navies are mine too. And the Second American Civil War is over. Solidarity forever, for the union makes us strong. And so begins a new constitutional convention. Insert Hamilton reference here. Oh hey, there's still a couple holdouts here. Let me go. What are we gonna deal with that? I assumed I was at peace. All right, so basically now we get to decide which flavor of socialist we want to be. And I'm thinking we should go totalist into this run. Oh, that's right. I, I, I totally forgot I took Pakistan into the peace deal. All right, and at the closing of the Constitutional Convention, we select our capital. And I think we fought so hard to keep it. We got to bring it to New York City. Oh, hey, Japan owns Hawaii. That's cool. All right, it is time to select our interim president. And I think obviously we gotta go louder with Browder. Let's go. Look at that man. Look at him. Look at that mustache. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, we interrupt this impending dictatorship to bring you international diplomacy. Oh, Canada. It is our manifest destiny to annex Canada, but Quebec can be free, sure. Hey, Cuba's at war with me. Well, time to go rough riding, I suppose. You know, once I organize my navies. <laughs> oh, hey, there's an election in 1940 with a totally fair and open election. Congrats, Browder. I never had any doubt. Oh yeah, now we're the Union of Socialist American States, or USAS. Rest in peace, smelly butt. It feels a little disrespectful that I keep calling him that. That dude saved <laughs> saved all of us. All right, Mr. Parsons, you are now in charge. Okay, I know I could turn on France and just forge my own path, but I'm a good syndicalist soldier. I will help you out, France. Ooh, Lord, it looks like you could really use it too. Hmm, there's a power struggle. That's not good. Oh, hey, Charlie Chaplin's still making movies in this timeline. It's pretty awesome. God save King Billy. All right, fine. Cuba's probably gonna have to wait. All right, France. 
Let's do this together. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I am killing Cuba first then. Oh, thank God. Okay. Ooh. And they made a Grapes of Wrath movie. That's pretty awesome. Sweet. Okay, can I join the International now? Yes. Let's do this. The American horde is on the move. Jesus, they've almost reached Paris. Quickly, run! Fly, you fools! We are here. Okay, now for the question of how to break these guys. I mean, I guess what they're gonna keep just trying to... Hmm, I could take Sardinia. Okay, I mean, I might as well. Oh, hey, Austria's involved too. That's fantastic. The Kaiser is dead! Excellent. The side of positive developments. Oh. It seems like there's another step in recovering from the Civil War. Because normally for the others, when you recover from the Civil War, you just recover from the Civil War. But here, we have the Social Revolution as well. Lovely. Okay, sending another horde their way. I feel like that's a smart move here. Because yeah, Germany can't break through our lines now. What? <laughs> ah, I guess Germany Asia gave up. Okay, well... I did literally nothing in that war, so I'm not gonna do anything here. Alright. Why is Papua run by the fifth cargo belief? Led by that man. He doesn't look like he's native to Papua, if I'm being honest. Oh cool! We're cracking down on the unions that don't agree with us. God, I desperately need war support. I have zero war support, so I'm still on volunteer only in civilian economy. It hurts, man. It hurts a lot. Oh, cool! I can destroy Stone Mountain? That's based! Ooh. Now that is what I call an opportunity. Netherlands has capitulated. Germany is completely incapable of defending this front line. Things look good for me. Oh, cool. Warlords in the United States. Just, uh... Why don't we just kill everybody who has more than $20 in their pocket? I think it would make things so much easier. That's why you guys watch me, right? For my sensible uh, justice policies. All right, let's take some of this pressure off Paris. Things are looking good. All right, and we've linked up our, our front lines. Germany shall soon fall. Oh, thank God I can get limited conscription. Praise be. Italy has seized the opportunity, it seems, and declared war on Austria. You go, Italy. All right, France. Alsace-Lorraine is about to be yours, buddy. Oh, Switzerland capitulated. That's cool. Yeah, honestly, France, just take it. <laughs> so I can either gain 50 political power or gain literally like every military industrial organization that every other America had. Hmm, what a tough choice. Oh, thank God, I have other, <laughs> I have other air organizations now instead of the stupid naval aircraft. Blessed be. Ooh, we got another encirclement. I don't mean to alarm anybody, but we've got another encirclement. Okay, let's see what they're at now. 11.25 million? Eleven point seven five million. Half a million men just died. It's beautiful. You know, it's a shame the Iberian Confederation is gonna get Berlin instead of France, because France gets their own, like, Super cool event about it where they like blow up the Brandenburg Gate. And I think that's just mega based. Quickly to Berlin! Yes! <laughs> yep, Germany is dead. And Russia has joined the Third International proper. The world looks pretty good right about now. But I mean, we're not, we're not nearly done yet. Ooh, and I can support train unions. Yes! Screw you, automobiles. 15 minute cities forever. Vienna has fallen. Oh, Vienna's fallen to Italy. That's actually pretty cool. We're still gonna kill them, but it's pretty cool. There goes the Reich's Pact. All right, what can I grab out of this realistically? Honestly, what I want more than anything are the navies. Okay, I am 1000% gonna have to like go in and uh, fix these borders. Oh. Northern Ireland's at it again. That sounds like Japan's just about got full control over China at this point. Oh, we will deal with that later. Okay, and Italy's going to do its thing. 
Northern Ireland, you are not in a position to be declaring war on new people. I'm gonna be honest with you. Sure, Ireland. I will trade with you. Oh, are you a completely independent Ireland? You're not like a puppet? Okay. Good for you. Um, we can't exactly exile the reaction areas to Canada anymore. Let's just kill them. What I've been saying, kill everyone with more than $20 in their pocket. Okay, I fixed the borders a little bit. The map is no longer super duper ugly. Well, except for Poland's uh, tumor in Belarus existing, but I'm just gonna forget these things ever happened for my own sanity's sake, if nothing else. Algiers has fallen, but we didn't even get an event for it. I guess they must have removed it or something. That looks like the Entente is gone. Uh, do I want any of this? Once again, I really just want navies. Oh, and Panama. I almost missed that. And there goes Sand France. Honestly, France, just take it. I will take the navies. All right, now all that's left is Italy. Yep. Oh, it's his son. Okay. Well, in any case, that's just gonna make Japan that much harder to deal with later. That's later's problem. Right now, Italy. Rome has fallen. It's only a matter of time. There we go. All right, now. I kind of want Italy, if I'm being honest. All right, let's see if that'll give me the opportunity to create Italy. Release the Socialist Republic of Italy. Perfect. And surely France will just give the rest of it to them, right? Yep, the... Wait, what? Oh yeah, look at that! It's... <laughs> it's Benito Mussolini! <laughs> Good on you, man. And yes, France did give all the land to Italy. Perfect. I have a puppet in Europe now. You know what, Baraccia? Let me just give you Pakistan. I don't want it anymore anyway. There you go. Whoa, that guy's got an epic beard. Okay, look at that! We've got most of the world under our control, but there's a very, very important, very important piece missing. Oppenheimer? Yeah, that movie rocked. Let's liberate the atom. All right, Japan, we're coming to take back Hawaii. Oh, they just, they just gave it back. Okay, that was a, that was a bit anticlimactic. You know what? I'm not satisfied with that. I'm going to war anyway. Ah, uh, who cares about Afghanistan? Russia, apparently. Just be careful in Afghanistan, Russia. That's, uh, they call it the graveyard of empires for a reason. That's actually exactly what I wanted. Hey, can I join that war? Sweet. All right, Japan, we're going to war. It's a bit of a roundabout way to do it, but we're going to war. It's time for the Great Pacific War. In a moment of weakness, we stumbled, but will not falter. God, I desperately need more manpower. Cut my second army in half so that I had more manpower. Using what tools I got. I'm gonna hold the line for a bit while my manpower reserves come back. Cause uh, we're running low. Oh cool, the Balkans are at war again. That's fantastic. Uh, I trust you guys can handle that over there. I don't think I need to get involved. Oh right, the fact that like an entire fourth of my manpower is going to my navy uh, probably has something to do with it too. Oh my God. We've got mad power again. Oh, hallelujah. Huh? Oh. <laughs> right, forgot the war of the Balkans was even a thing. You know what? You guys have fun with that. Hey, Russia, I hope you don't mind that we're just gonna turn this entire place into one giant airport. Ooh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of blood spilt by the end of this war. Oh, good. Well, I'm stalling Japan and China. Uh, it looks like Britain's doing the rest of the work. Sweet. That's the solidarity I like to see. Truly, it's just the natural way of things for America to be fighting in South Vietnam. <laughs> and it would seem the British are at it again. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna completely abandon that front line because I don't want to be there anymore. And I'm gonna go to Hong Kong. There goes Singapore. Japan is rapidly, <laughs> rapidly falling apart, which is excellent news for me. Once again, it is time to turn this time, southern China into one giant airport. You're never gonna believe this, but there's no supply in China. <laughs> Look at those casualties. 6.15 million. Just ignore the fact that almost a million of my own men have died. Thing I've realized, I have nuclear bombs unlocked. Never built any reactors, so, uh, gonna focus my energy on building that real quick. Hey! Ah, uh, God bless Comrade Browder. Things are looking up. We have taken a good chunk of Southern China here. We've pushed into Indochina, 
basically all of Indonesia's ours. Pretty soon, somebody's gonna invade the home islands, I'm sure. The Kingdom of Siam offers conditional surrender. No, I'm not falling for it this time. Peace conference. Oh. Okay, they're at peace with Burma, I see. Oh, and at peace with France. Huh, well okay, I guess we do accept your conditional surrender. Oh hey, we've got democratic Kampuchea. Uh-oh, we have done bad things to the world. Look at these encircled troops. They're gonna die and I feel no sorrow. Oh, thank God. All right, that's an entire front dealt. <gasps> oh, that changes quite a lot of things. All right, I have no confidence that the communards are going to push the offensive in Tokyo, so I'm gonna go help them out. Okay, the question is, who do I want to nuke more? Yeah, I feel like nuking Japan is just cliche. Beijing, Beijing ain't anymore. And China immediately gave in. That's perfect. Yep, it looks like things are just about over for Japan. There we go. Okay, uh, I want literally everything. Perfect. All right, now we just clear up Siberia, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that was super easy. Uh, just Russia, just take it, man. Oh, Pak Hon Yong. That name sounds familiar. Eh, I can't place it. That's neat, Communist Japan gets their own tree as well. I like that. All right, China. You're going to the left, Kuomintang. Hey, where'd my Wang go? All right, Vietnam. You're mine now. Mine. Same for you, the Philippines. Yep, the Japanese empire has collapsed. I thought they were stronger than that too, but nobody can break the spirit of the working man. All right, and with that, I think we have firmly established that the Internationale shall be the human race. Hey, that was an incredibly fun game. That might be the most fun Kaiserite game I've had in a very, very long time. We defeated the reactionaries at home and abroad. We saved our revolutionary comrades in France, established revolutionary rule over Germany, liberated Africa, liberated China and all of East Asia. And we have ensured solidarity forever. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, leave a like, hit the sub button. It helps me out a lot and I will see you next time. L'international, ça le genre humain.